most people wouldn't necessarily get what this code is on this computer screen, but Patrick Winter does. The Barton Peveril College student recently came third in his age group at a UK computing competition, with more than 5,000 students taking part. But what sort of tests did the students have to go through? Barton Peveril entered everyone who did computer science into it, and it was well, a whole range of puzzles really. Some of them were maths related, especially the decision branch of maths, and some of them were more computer science, like following some instructions to see what the final output is or find the shortest time to do this. And Patrick says he's pretty happy with himself for finishing third. I mean, I was obviously very happy, very proud, a bit surprised, because I didn't think... I mean, there are a lot of really, really good people there. So I didn't think I'd come third out of all of them, but it happens. Each year they add more problems and they never expect anyone to be able to finish. I mean, but I nearly got there. So. Patrick first went through a test at Barton Peveril to get to the finals. After standing out at college, he was then referred on to Oxford University, where the finals took place. But how did this bright youngster get into computers? I'd say when I was about 10, my dad introduced me to programming. But I've been interested in maths pretty much since I could talk. And, uh, and it's just something that you've carried on ever since, is it? Yeah, I'd say so. The UK BEBRAS Computational Thinking Challenge is a problem-solving contest with questions inspired by topics in computer science. The college say the competition is there to test the most gifted students. They're supposed to be an alternative to um, other competitions that are running like maths challenge and things like that. It's for computer science, so it's to stretch the most able, um, but hopefully in an interesting way. Um, all of them enjoyed it, even the ones who, who struggled to, to, to achieve much. Um, but, but Patrick, he, he was really, really good at it. Um, he's, he's just gifted. But what made Patrick stand out from the rest? His teacher says it's because he's a hard worker. The key thing that distinguishes Patrick is not just that he's just really, really gifted, it's that he tries really hard. So um, when he's given a list of problems, he won't just go, oh, I can do them, because obviously he can, but he just sits there and he just does all of them just as fast as possible. And then he's like, right, can I have something else to do? Um, and he just keeps going and going and going and tries everything. Having come third in the UK and impressing the lecturers at Oxford University, what happens next for Patrick Winter? Well, I'm hoping to apply to Oxbridge for something like maths, engineering, something in that field. Well, I think it's just keep up doing these competitions because you never know where they're going to take you. I mean, you often meet new people. Sometimes you see people there that you knew from other competitions because really it isn't the it's quite a small world. Daniel Padwick, that's TV.